Do you remember our hometown the way I do? Rochester used to be a city that was a model for the nation, a city where great companies grew, the place where innovation and patents found a home, a community that pulled together to take care of one another, where we developed the nation's first indoor downtown mall, a place where you could go to city schools and get a good job at Kodak, Xerox, Bausch & Lomb, or Delco. Then things began to change. The jobs started to leave and not come back. Our schools crumbled and families fled. Crime and drugs took over our neighborhoods. Rochester stopped feeling like a good place to raise a child. We started to feel discouraged. It does not have to be that way. We need to get back to working together, all of us pulling on the oars. We need to stop focusing on what we disagree about and focus on how to make things work. We need to take each other by the hand and train our workers for a new economy. We need to strengthen our neighborhoods and grow our economy to make our children want to stay here. It can be a new day for Rochester. We can be a place where we work together for the common good. Where we focus on families, not just buildings. Where we improve safety and return to a sense of pride and hope for our neighborhoods. We need to fix our schools and invest in small businesses. We have challenges, no doubt, but we have a legacy and a heritage to build on. After all, we are the children of Frederick Douglass, Susan B. Anthony, George Eastman, Dr. Freddie Thomas, and Mildred Johnson. I was born and grew up here. I'm raising my family here because I believe our best days are ahead of us. We just need to work together. Instead of being a place where good ideas go to die, let's be a place where we make dreams become realities. With your help, I will work hard every day to make Rochester the great city it once was, a city I know it can be. Let's do this together.